Are you thinking about doing the Bulletproof Diet? I just finished reading The Bulletproof Diet by Dave Asprey, the, uh, the book, and I wanted to give you guys my review of what I think about it. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that I like using and have and read and put in my brain. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So I got interested in this because I saw a YouTube video. I was just scrolling through my feed and I saw something called biohacking. And I was like, hmm, that sounds interesting. I like uh, hacking things and my wife's a biology teacher. Let me see what this is all about. And so I, I watched the video and I was highly intrigued. It's just, it's all about making yourself perform to the best that it can. And so this Bulletproof Diet was written by the guy who was in the video. And it is all about uh, feeding your body the best things that you can feed it so that your body is optimized as best as it can be. Um, very, very uh, interesting stuff in here. Some things that I've never heard before. Some things that I found uh, very, very interesting. And uh, he kind of goes through all the different types of foods that they recommend, whether it's a protein, a starch, vegetables, fruits, oils and fats, all that type of stuff. And he kind of breaks it down for you on a, in a chart. And it tells you which ones he thinks are the best, and then the next best, next best, and then until it gets bad. So you go from bulletproof to kryptonite, I think is what he called, like the worst for you. Um, so I kind of, we went through and uh, me and my wife, we went through and we kind of looked at some of the things that he thinks are best and to see what we already had in our diet and what we didn't have in our diet. And, um, I did a really good job of like breaking it out for you. Now, what I really like about this uh, particular diet plan, y'all might be looking at me and thinking like, hey, this guy doesn't need to be on a diet. What's going on? I don't think of dieting books as um, as like a lose weight type of thing, although this guy was really big and he wanted to lose some weight. I think of it more of a lifestyle change and like how to better improve yourself than you already are. And so uh, I just, I really like how he kind of broke it down for you uh, that way way because um and he also doesn't talk about just food he also talks about like sleep and i think in another book he talks about meditation and all that type of so just good things to do for your body that's kind of the idea behind it but uh whenever it comes to like let's take proteins just because i opened up this is the chart for it right here so this is all the different uh, foods that he recommends by the way if you guys want to check this thing out i'll link it up down in the description below y'all can go read other people's reviews about it don't just take my word for it uh but i finished reading it yesterday and in the protein one uh, he'll go through like each different kind of protein that he recommends like this is grass-fed beef and lamb this is pastured eggs this is grass-fed collagen protein this is colostrum whey protein concentrate wild-caught seafood and he tells you just a little paragraph about why he thinks what he thinks about these particular uh, these particular foods poultry pastured pork factory farm eggs clean white isolate sprouted legumes just the whole thing. And then he goes into the kryptonite protein. Even though he thinks it's something bad for you, he tells you specifically why he thinks it's bad for you. And that's what I really liked about this book. And what I was going to say earlier, uh, just a few seconds ago, is that another aspect that I like about this book is that even if you quote unquote go off the diet, he doesn't necessarily say that you go off the diet. You just chose a... a, a not as good thing on the diet because technically like all the bad stuff that he mentions here those are all on the diet all the stuff on the bottom here those are on the diet it's just not a good idea to use those part of the diets what we're trying to do this is the spices and flavorings here what we want to do is try and stay like kind of in the mid-range and above and uh, go that route. So we went and we got some food. We're going to try out this diet. I'll kind of give you guys a better idea of how it goes for us. In fact, in our next video, we're going to be doing an unboxing here. We actually, he recommends coffee with MCT oil uh, and butter. It's a butter coffee with MCT oil and MCT oil is medium chain triglycerides. And so we bought it. We, we bought into the hype of his diet and this whole coffee thing and whatnot. I used to drink coffee a long time ago whenever I was in high school and uh, it usually gives me the runs, at least the, the coffee that I've had in the past. And this coffee, well, I'll get into that into the next video. If y'all want to see that video, I'm going to link it up right here. Y'all click that video. I'll see you on that video. Y'all can go see everything that this bulletproof thing is all about. 
Thank you dads for watching. If y'all are interested in this, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here, make sure to click that subscribe button. Click that video right there. I'll see you on that video. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you drink coffee or tea? Because you can also do like a bulletproof tea type of thing too. Thank you all for watching. Dad out.